A while back, there was data mining, which showed that we had this update kind of coming in the works for a while now. And that was the ability for you to use your local network in order to install uh, games that were installed on your PC onto your Steam Deck without having to actually download them from the internet. Now, the reason that you would want to do this is A, it's going to be faster. B, it's going to save you bandwidth if you have like metered bandwidth or something. And the reason that Valve would want to do this is because that's one less thing that they have to send out over the internet. If you already have it installed on your local machine, you're just downloading it from yourself, skipping over the internet. That's going to save Valve a ton of money. So when we originally saw that this was a possibility, it made a whole lot of sense that it was probably going to be real. Well, on February 17th, uh, just a little bit ago, uh, Valve tweeted this out that they had sent out this update and it's currently on the beta channel. Now, in order for this to work, you have to be on beta on both your PC and your Steam Deck. Let's take a look at the actual patch notes that has come out. Uh, we're going to skip over the general section. There's nothing super important in there for me to talk about. But in the local network game transfer section, they say added a new feature that allows Steam users to copy existing Steam game installation and update files from one PC to another over a local area network without having to download and install from the Steam content server on the Internet. This reduces internet traffic and can speed up installs and updates. This feature is currently only PC to PC or PC to Steam Deck, and both the sender and the receiver must be opted into the Steam beta. Steam users can control whose files can be sent to who. You can either have it sent to self only, friends only, or everyone. The default setting is is self only. So if you want to be stingy and not share your downloads with anybody else, make them go out on the internet. Sure, you can do that. Although I really can't see why you would. So how exactly does this work? Before you actually start to download or update a game from Steam, if you've got this enabled, what Steam will do is first, it's going to check on your network and see if any other PCs that are running Steam on your local area network can automatically transfer that game content to you directly. If a potential PC is found, then your client will ask Steam's backend server to contact the other PC Steam client and start a game file transfer if local network transfers are enabled and possible. So you're not, you can't do this without going to the internet, but the download itself doesn't come from the internet. If the game file transfer is accepted, your PC will try to download as much content as possible from the other PC. If the connection is lost or no more content is available, Steam will fall back and use the public Steam content servers in order to download the remainder. There are four settings that specify what other PCs and Steam clients can be used for game tra file transfer. Off means that this is this client will not be allowed to look for other game file transfers. It will not download from or transfer to any other PC on your network. Only your devices means that you will allow transfers to and from another device that's logged in with the same Steam account or and on your LAN. This is the default. Um, you can have it do it for your friends. So for instance, if I've got a game installed and my son has a, uh, wants to download that game, Instead of going out to Steam, it'll just download it from my PC over to his. And uh, you can also have it set up for any user. Now, any Steam client or Steam Deck can receive game content from another client on their LAN, but there are a few things that have to be met first. Number one, both Steam clients must be online and be able to see each other directly on the same LAN and no downloads while either Steam client is in offline mode. So if you go into offline mode, this is not gonna work for you anymore. The game file transfer settings on both devices have to allow the transfer. If both have friends only set, then they must be Steam friends. But if one person has friends only and the other one has self only, then it's not going to work. Next up, game content can only be transferred out if this transferring Steam client is idle, meaning that I'm not currently playing a game. So you don't have to worry about being in the middle of a game and having somebody downloading from your computer 
taking up valuable CPU cycles or maybe interfering with what little network speed you might have. The game does have to be released to the public and playable by both Steam, Steam users, so it doesn't work for preloads, or let's say if I get a review copy of a game, my son can't then download it from me. Uh, plus, we both have to own the game as well. And then the last restriction is only a PC running Steam in desktop mode can actually send the files. So Steam Decks, PCs in big picture mode, and custom launchers currently can't transfer files over the local network. I'm not sure why that restriction is. I wonder if it has something to do with notifying you that something's happening. I'm not sure. Now, I have pretty good internet, and it's not metered internet, so this doesn't really affect me all that much, but I know that there's a lot of you out there that have both metered, metered internet or slow internet, and this means it's going to save you probably a lot of bandwidth and a lot of time, especially if you have more than just a PC and a Steam Deck. If you have, let's say, two or three PCs in your house or multiple Steam Decks, this is going to be a huge change for you. So what do you guys think of the change? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. From the Nerd Nest, I'm Bill. Stay rad, everybody.